Hello everyone and welcome back to Roots of Pacha. My name is Melanie B. It is now Saturday the 13th of spring in year number one. And we will head outside and start today. Okay, let's see what quest we have for today. So our water bucket is finished so we need to go see Aper. And Oka is still working on an idea. Okay, we'll let Oka work. And we got some smoked fish and one dry tic tac here. Now, this grass over here is getting out of control. Let's clear out some of that. Yeah, we can see our well again. Great. So, anything ready as yet? We got one wild potato. So, might as well plant another one. Potatoes. Yeah, we can do that. And that's just about all that's ready right now. And... Let's get... Our water skin out. And we've got uh, two ready from Aker right now. Maybe we should go see her and get that. Because then we won't have to go to get our water refilled quite as often. Let's see if Aker is even awake. There she is. Here's your new jewel. I made it so it's going to last four years. Okay, and let's see what else we can get made. So... We can get the milker, which requires flint and stone, or we can do the blade shears. Uh, that requires wood and flint, so they both require flint. And the water bucket, we have not unlocked that yet. Uh, these ones aren't unlocked just yet, so we can still make these two, but we'll need some flint. Okay. Let's get back and finish watering. I don't know if this is any faster, but I think we don't have to get the refills done as often, which is nice. The last little bit here. I feel like it's kind of moving faster, but who knows? Maybe that's just my perspective. Okay, all done. Now today I want to go up into the caves again, so I think we needed to have a carrot to take up there. Need the carrot and a fish. Because we've already donated a pomegranate. Oops. So let's grab out one of these carrots in here. And I'm just going to put the potato away for now. So let's take one single carrot. And put our fish in here. Um, these one, This one's smoked. This one's dried. I think I want to take some fresh fish. Okay, let's put that there, and mostly we want to get some flint and stone when we're up there. So we'll have to keep something to get us uh, some stamina. So I'll leave the dry tic tac. And let's get on the way. I want to get out as early as possible today, so we're going to have as much time as we can up in the caves. Oh, I also wanted to find, um, Crawl. Okay, so Crawl might be working on something for us, actually. Right, I think he's still working on the sundial. So he won't be able to do anything for us today. I guess we can see Crawl tomorrow instead. Okay, up into the forest we shall go. 
we'll catch a fish along the way. And we can certainly take some pine cones. <laughs> Let me change out my tool here and use the flint axe. Okay, we can do some fishing right here. Let's see what we can get. Oops. Got it. Okay, we'll take that one with us. And we'll collect some more pine cones. Now currently we've got two animals living in our animal shed. And the bunnies will have to have our own house before we can have a bunny rabbit as a pet. So I want to tune with those guys. But the big ones that can live in the shed will tune with one of them today, too. It would be kind of cool to get another wolf. Whoops, let's grab this. And there's some seeds over here. We'll always take seeds. I assume at some point we'll be able to be able to plant some more seeds. I mean, we have a huge field right now. So eventually we will. Okay, look at these boars. They are massive. <laughs> um, let's attune. Hello, my friend. I just absolutely love it. I can't get enough of the soothing nature of the tunes. Okay, let's see about these animals here. Oh no, I missed the last one. Okay, but the wolf still trusts me now. If you had your own place, you could invite it to live with you. So the wolf gets to be pets. Let's grab some more quinoa. And I think we'll take some of these rose hips. We're gonna run out of space. And there's some pomegranates here. Now, if I chop down this tree, what kind of wood would it be? Would it just be hardwood? I guess that's most likely it. Okay, so let's get down to the owl's preamble. Okay, let's make some donation. Honor the totem with what it desires and you'll be deemed worthy of its attention. So let's get this fish in there. The totem accepts the offering and I believe we need to do a carrot. There we go. The totem accepts this offering. Are you ready to start the challenge? Yes. You may borrow my power with the round platforms. You'll need it to complete my challenge. Okay, so I remember doing this one before. It was kind of tricky at first, but eventually I figured it out. 
Guide the light by twisting these pillars and return it to me. So we need to get it to this point basically. Okay, so... We can get over here. So let's start by twisting this over here. We'll go back to human form. And what's over there? Right now we're not really connecting to anything. So let's get over to this point. I'm not sure where the starting point should be. Uh, sometimes it helps to work backwards from where you want to go. Good suggestion. So this is ultimately where we need to go. So let's say we need to have this one pointing that way. So right now, is it pointing that way? It doesn't seem to be, but I really can't tell. So if that's pointing that way, then we must get lighting from over here. So this one is going to point to that, but how is this one going to get light? Maybe like so. And this one is going to send light there. That means we'll have to get light coming down from this way, I suppose. I feel like the first time I tried this, it was a lot simpler. What did I do differently? I can't remember. Let's aim this one so we can receive light or send light this way. So this is where the first beam of light is. There's one up there. So sending light down this way? Is there anything down that way? No, there doesn't seem to be anything here. So it can't go in this direction. Let's say it goes here. This is nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. This is the only way it can go. And that can go that way or that way. If that goes this direction, it won't go anywhere. So this is the only option for this one to go to. So let's get over here. Now say we got off. If this goes down here, it should work. But if it goes up, it will not. So it has to go down. Now back here. This is hitting in this spot. If it goes across, I don't think there's anything out that way. This is not going to make any changes. Nothing that way. So this is the only option for this one. Okay, let's get over here. 
Now let's see that this is the one we'll have to change. Let's look at the options on this one. Nothing happens. Nothing happens that way. If it goes back up, where does that go to? It goes back up. It hits this point. And then it will hit this point. Now if I adjusted this, where would it go? So you can come down here. And this is an option too. So this is a divergent point back here. So let's test this diversion point first and see what happens. So that will go there or up there. So that's useless. So it has to go down if this is in fact the right one. Okay, let's say this is right. Then we get to this one. So what are the options? Ah, oh, that's it! So we, we chose the right path. You have done well, young one. It's through your observation of the world that my light was returned. Go forth and help others see their own light. Okay. Well, I really want to get some rocks in this level. So what is this that we just got? Use this map to guide you in the caves. You are ready to use my power elsewhere. May it help you find what you seek. Okay, great. So now we have a map of the caves. But what I really want to do right now is break some rocks. Need a lot of flint. There's not much flint in this floor. Maybe we'll have to go back. Okay, let's go back to the previous level. We'll break down some of these flint. I need at least 16 pieces. Okay, and let's go ahead and eat some fish. And might as well eat another one. That's what we brought it for. Okay. And we'll get back to our flint hammer. have a look at the map. So we're here right now. I'm not sure what this represents, that little squirrel. Let's see if there's any place else we can go in here. Um, let's use our power of flight here. Where can we go? We can get over here. Okay, great. Hey Trella, I can't believe we finally met Al. To use a similar map to make our cave design meetings on time, now you'll be able to check what doors are in each room and which ones are open. Now go use that Al power. Okay, is there any place else we can go with this? Um... I kind of feel like that's probably all we can get to with this room. Let's get back. 
Let's look at that map again. Yeah, it seems like this room is done. So, we'll go down this way. So there should be a room going to this side. And it's a dark room. I really want to get the, the rocks. <laughs> want more flint. All that tempting flint. Couldn't say no. Okay, so here we are in the dark room. Okay, let's look at the map here. It says a short flight. What does that mean? Can we get past here? Oh yeah. And there's two of the... There's Dawn, that torch you got comes in handy for dark rooms like this one. So now has this... Have we been this way before? Well, we haven't used this owl's transient point before. Yeah, we definitely haven't been over here. Oh, I want to explore here, but... I think we might be out of time. But there is a doorway here we can come back to. Okay, let's get out of here. It is getting late. Let's look at the map again. So this is where the glitched on totem is. So that is going to be a place we can use our warp. Uh, look at all the rocks in here. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little bit lost. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll go back this way. Through here. Over this way. <laughs> So now, that squirrel represents this thing. Okay, go down to the forest. And we'll have to make it back to the village in time. I don't know if we'll be able to donate anything before we get to bed. We are pushing it really close as is. Okay, let's see if we make it back. Uh, donate, 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 donate. Let's be on our way. <laughs> And are we going to make it? Yeah, I think so. Into bed we go. Okay, so client contribution for today is 1276. Plan prosperity is up, now up to 18,165. And we contributed a mere 78 for today. Not our best, but we definitely got fairly uh, further down into the cave. So that's pretty good. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.